Hello friends, my name is Behroz and welcome to the channel where I share with you tips, tricks that I learn, read and apply in order to become a best version of myself. Now first and foremost, let me call out what do I mean by retirement. In my view, state of retirement is best articulated by Nawal Ravikant in the following words. Retirement is when you stop sacrificing today for an imaginary tomorrow. When today is complete in and of itself, you are retired. You retire by saving up enough money or becoming a monk or by finding work which feels like play to you. Now, how I interpret this definition is that first and foremost, I equate retirement with financial freedom. As I find that the term retirement at times give an impression that you're someone who's old, who has lost his passion, who has lost all the desire, has no drive and has completely given up on the idea of progress. Hence, I prefer to use the term financial freedom because that for me is a state where you continue to maintain your passion and you keep your drive and hunger for progress. Rather in the state of financial freedom, all these factors are further heightened. So going back to Nawal's definition, financial freedom is a state where you stop grinding and finally start living. It is a state where we achieve self-fulfillment and self-actualization in the hierarchy of needs. It is exactly the state where I can choose to live a life for my passion, where my desire brings me happiness in the now, in the very present. And my progress is in the area of my liking, which makes any person completely unstoppable given you can never compete with a person who does something out of passion. As an example, if I'm not passionate about YouTubing, there will certainly come periods or weeks or months where I will be in a slump. It is exactly times like these where someone who has their heart in the particular activity will certainly and at any given point in time outpace someone who doesn't have the full passion and their full heart in that particular activity. So in a nutshell, I'm talking about a state where you're not just happy, rather you have a choice to work on something out of passion which will place you ahead of everyone in that field who are just in that field out of necessity. Now the question is, how do we get to that state? Now coming back to Nawal's definition, we find that apart from saving up enough money, which is pretty standard, Nawal gives us three shortcuts to the promised land of financial freedom, which I will expand on further. Number one is hustling. He doesn't lock us in a time frame of accumulating money. We don't have to wait until we are 60 plus. If we make enough money today, we could retire immediately and do whatever we like. Number two is monastic life. That is if we become monk who don't have any need for physical possession in order to feel complete. Then we can retire already to our fulfilled monk-like existence. From a financial perspective, this is where we cut down on our expenses as much as possible and go lean on life. Number three is infinite games, which is if we can find work which feels like play, real play, something which we would like to do even for no money. Then we are retired, even if you are not earning enough money. This is exactly the point where you enjoy the race so much that you don't want to reach the finish line at all. Because when people earn their freedom from money constraint, they don't stop working. Instead, they start doing their best work. For me personally, I want to try a combination of all these three solutions to get to that point. And here is where I am with that. Make money. So far, I'm doing good with this, given my good corporate career and my appetite for constant learning in my field. Second is my e-commerce side hustle, which generates some side income for me. And third are my investments, which continue to generate returns and dividend incomes for the investments that I've made. But the big question is, at what point is this all enough? So entering solution number two and three. Solution number two is to reduce burn rate. I don't think I will be a monk anytime soon, but I'm constantly experimenting with reducing expenditure in different areas of my life and seeing if it makes me happier and more fulfilled. For instance, one successful experiment was going from a family of two car to single car in the time of pandemic. And I was able to maintain that status quo even today, once the pandemic has been kind of in the past. This is mostly thanks to work from home. And second is creating a home gym setup where I've stopped going to gym and stopped paying the membership fee for both myself and my wife. And now we have a gym setup in my garage where we work out together. So suddenly all of this saves me the cost of fuel, the cost of car and the cost of gym membership. And I feel more fulfilled and happy because I don't have to waste time commuting. Rather my gym is at my home. So I don't really need to convince myself to go to the gym and drive to the gym It's just a few steps into my garage and I'm there and I start working out. Third is to find work which feels like play. This is what I'm trying to do with my YouTube channel. That is picking up something that I enjoy and just doing it in small quantity on the side. So by the time I've saved up enough money whereby I'm very close to being financially free, I have a stream of work which I do for fun, which I can go ahead and even monetize. Plus, I won't feel retired in the traditional sense because I will continue to work on something that I enjoy and not be obliged to work on it just for sake of money. I reason that if I make more money, keep my burn rate low 
by minimizing the lifestyle inflation and keeping my desires and wants minimal and make sure that I'm doing work which I really enjoy. This is very close to being retired, which is great. Here's how I think of it. If I'm doing things on day to day basis, which are exactly identical to the things that I would do, even if I won a $10 million lottery, I am not at that point yet, but I feel that if I continue to work on these three things, I will eventually reach there. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully this was helpful for you to take a sneak peek in my attempt and my journey to become financially free. Thank you.